Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today we are going to do a range test on a 2021 Polestar 2 long range all wheel drive with performance pack. So we are at the Athens, Texas supercharger. We're at 91% state of charge. I'm going to top it off to where it stops charging. We're going to hop on the highway, do 70 miles an hour until car just barely won't move. But we're not going to go that far because I don't want to have to put it on a trailer because I don't know how to put the tow hook in the front of the car. But anyway, let's go plug it in. Charging um vehicle how do i do this charge at your other ev athens 2b 2b yeah, uh charge here 2b Bridging. now it says to put the adapter on the cable first but i always put it on the car first so plug that into the car this into the adapter there we go give it a second charging probably gonna be very slow because we're up high in the battery pack and it didn't really precondition at all on the way here but yeah we'll let this charge up and then we'll see what our route is we'll probably get some water and stuff and right so we're pulling 40 kilowatts that's not too bad find out car is fully charged we're gonna set off yeah and then let me unplug the car i got that there we go Tire pressures are set to 42 PSI cold. We're gonna run 68 degrees on automatic climate control. We're gonna back out of the parking space and jump on the highway. Charging up to 100 did take us probably 40 minutes, I would guess. Yeah. Took quite a while. Polestar does take a little bit to fully top charge, but we're gonna do this. It says my maintenance is overdue, even though they don't really do anything in the maintenance. That turn signal noise is pretty weird. We are at 75% state of charge. I'm not sure if you can see that on the camera, 75%. We've done 56.7 miles, so we are on track to beat 200 miles of range. We're doing about 70 miles an hour right now, plus or minus a little bit, depending on traffic. But then again, there is parts of the road in Eustis uh, that are down to 55. So if we go a little faster, it's not the end of the world. It kind of offsets our slow driving with faster driving. 34.1 kilowatt hours per 100 miles, which is a the same as 341 watt hours per mile. We're at 50% state of charge. We've traveled 106.8 miles, 339 watt hours per mile, 107.1 miles right now at 51, or sorry, not 51%, 50%. Don't want to hold my phone while driving for too long, but I just, in case that's not super visible. Yeah, but the car is doing pretty good, better than I thought. Seems like we're going to get about 214 miles of range based on the fact that this is at 50% and you double it. We are at 25% state of charge. We have, we've done 162.8 miles, 334 watt hours per mile, or 33.4 kilowatt hours per 100 miles. 25% left. We are heading back towards camp because we wanted to get a little bit lower state of charge on the loop.
Okay, we are merging on to the loop at 12% state of charge. We have hit power limit now, that's just kind of what Polestar does, gives you power limit very early. Um, for comparison, my Tesla didn't hit power limit until below zero. So that goes to show that zero in this car is really zero. miles travel 8% state of charge remaining reduced power due to low battery charge so my GoPro just or GoPro with the DJI camera but it died we're at 5% state of charge we're still five miles away since we're gonna get there with 3% left now I want you to guys to answer this question I'm not gonna run it to where it stops moving because that's not safe in this car but should I consider the extra 3% as highway range because realistically you can't get up to highway speed at 3% like I'm at 5%, that is foot to the floor, and we are going downhill. So, yeah, it's very slow. That's how much power we have left. 207 miles traveled, 336 watt hour per mile. Um, so we are almost in the supercharger. There's the 175. We still got 4.2 more miles to go. Says the car is saying, low range, do you want to find a charger? Come closer so they can see that. Low range, do you want to find a charging station? Uh, I do not want to find a charging station car because I know exactly where I'm going. So I'm, I'm foot to the floor, I can't even, I'm just barely maintaining speed up a grade. We're almost at 210 miles. 210 miles traveled, should we go that way? I'm gonna go up to the actual exit because that turns sketchy to make with um, no powers. Yeah, I'm, I'm foot to the floor and we're just barely catching up to the truck. So I'd say 4% is the limit of your highway capability at this point. I'm gonna say 211 miles is my 70 mile an hour range number for this car. You can't do 70 anymore. There's not enough power to do it, so it, it really doesn't count. Very slow speed. Okay, that's foot to the floor. Like, yeah, okay. We're, we're barely making it. I'm foot completely welded, like. So yeah, 3% again. You'll never get back up to highway speed. Yeah, I would not want to hit zero on the highway. You would be completely screwed. I'll give you guys some data at the end. All right, we made it to the supercharger. 212.6 miles later. So you guys can make up your minds on if you want to add six miles to that final number. I'm going to say no, because again, 70 miles an hour is not really possible at that percentage. Anyway, we're going to back up, charging station. And I'll give you guys some juicy data. 212.6 miles at about 70 miles an hour the whole time. 335 watt hours per mile. It says an average speed of 65, which I don't know why, because I've been doing pretty much 70 the whole time, but might have to do with the city traffic and stuff like that. But yeah, that's pretty close. Maybe I would say if you want to be super like conservative on the range, I'd say maybe 208 miles on the highway just to cut off an extra four. But yeah, let's go plug this car in because it's 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 dead. 1D, charge your other EV. One, what? 1D, start. All right. Plug in my adapter, like that, and then plug in the charger, like this. Our tire pressures were set to 42 PSI cold. We were running 68 degrees auto on the climate. No heated seats or anything like that. And we did 212 miles at highway speed, which is 70 miles an hour. So overall, that's pretty good but exactly the same as my $15,000 Tesla. So Polestar is really not worth it. It doesn't charge better than Tesla. It looks better, but doesn't it doesn't have more range, has less cargo and passenger room, and is less comfortable. So I'll make a video about why I'm selling this car and gonna drive my Tesla, but yeah. So we are charging, just not as fast as a Tesla. Anyway, that'll be the end of this video. See y'all in the next one. Bye.